<laughs> Black men, y'all gonna be pissed off today. This lady is gonna tell you the difference in dating a black man versus a white man. What? I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by to see me today. <laughs> black men, I love y'all. I love you. Don't get too upset today. Because I love you. But there are some realities in life, y'all. When it comes to black men versus white men. Now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know, okay? That some white men do the same thing as black men do when it comes to the black woman and also to their own race. I know this, okay? Now, but today, this lady is going to be talking about the black man when dating a black man versus a white man. Yes, you're going to get mad. And of course, you're not going to agree. And of course, some of y'all going to be tempted to put some crazy stuff down in the comment section. But as long as you talk about the topic and don't talk about me calling me names, then we going to be all right, okay? You entitled to your opinion, and I'm t entitled to mine. And that's where you got your ass over here so you could hear what I got to say, okay? Now... You may hear me sniffle a little bit because I'm catching a little cold. I've been in the mountains for a couple of days and now I'm back home. But <clears throat> that's okay. We're going to get through this. Like I said, everybody's entitled to the opinion. I'm going to play this. It's going to piss some of y'all off. Now, it's not true with all men. It's not. All right. But I'm going to say this. It still may piss you off. But it's true with the majority of the black men today, especially today. Back in the 70s and the 80s, it wasn't this bad. But it's bad now. And you know why it's bad? It's bad because of the females, the black females that we have. Do you see how these young women act today? Do they act like respectable women? Do they? Y'all have ruined the black man, okay? They ain't even got to work just to get the cookie down there. They don't have to work for it. They don't. Listen to this lady right here. Y'all tell me exactly what you think about it. You asked, what's the difference between dating some black men and the white man? Well, the white man is going to call you and invite you out. The black man is going to text you, good morning, beautiful, hello, gorgeous, what you doing? The white man is going to take you to a very nice dinner and pay for it. The black man is going to ask you, what you cooking? Can I come over? The white man is going to take you to get your tire fixed and pay for it. The black man is going to tell you, you need to get your tire fixed. The white man is going to buy you a very special gift for your birthday. The black man is going to disappear and call you, after your birthday. The white man is going to be very impressed by your education and your personal accomplishments. The black man is going to be intimidated by your education and your personal accomplishments. The white man is going to raise his kid, take care of his kid, spend quality time with his kid. The black man is going to get you pregnant and abandon you and the kid. The white man wants a relationship that leads to marriage and family. The black man wants a situation that leads to nothing. The white man is going to date you, propose to you, and then marry you. The black man is going to shack up with you and play house with you. The white man is going to be clear in his communication when it comes to you. The black man is going to mislead you, play head games with you, and then confuse you. And then you ask, what's the difference between dating some black men and the white man, 
everything. Stop being loyal to a community of men who are not loyal to you. Explore your options, think outside of the box, and you'll be amazed at the experiences on the other side. Be smart, day smart, choose wisely, Nat Nation. And remember, I told you. Remember, she told you. <laughs> Stop being loyal to your own race of men. Think outside the box, women. Don't just sit there and be abused and used by a black man, even though all of them are not the same. Don't do it. Think outside the box. Don't you want to try something different other than your own race? Basically, that's what she's saying. If it ain't working in the black race, then you might want to go somewhere else, whether it's white, Spanish, Asian, Indian, maybe another race. Just try something else other than the black man if it's not working. That's what she's saying. Now, is she wrong, people? Is she wrong? She said the difference between dating some black man and the white man, she says. She said, some of y'all are not that bad, okay? And she calls herself a black queen. Now, I want to know, y'all tell me this down in the comment section. If a white woman calls herself a white queen, is that racist? I want to know, put it on down there. Is it racist? Why can't there be a white queen why white women can't say i am a white queen <laughs> y'all know good well y'all be pissed off as hell if a white woman said that <laughs> she said white is gonna call you black man is gonna text you good morning beautiful how are you doing that's what a black man is gonna text he ain't gonna call you on the damn phone he ain't gonna call you I've seen it in this new generations. You know what? They don't talk on the phone. They text. They text. White men take you on a nice dinner and pay for it. Black man asks, what are you cooking? Can I come over? Hell no. Ain't no man ever did that to me. Because they know. They know. You know, men can kind of sense what type of woman you are. Because if you kind of clingy to a man, they know they can do anything to you. Anything that they want to. You're going to go along with it. Not me. White men take you to go get your car fixed, your tire fixed, and pay for it. They pay for it. Black man, you, girl, you need to get your tire fixed. Maybe I'll take you there, but. I sure the hell ain't going to pay for it. I can't be with a man like that. Oh, no, I can't be with a man like that. White man, buy you a very special gift for your birthday. Black man, he disappeared and call you after your birthday. Now, I've seen that. Not with me. Not with me. I've seen it with other women. Even holidays, Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, you know, disappear. Don't see you until after the holidays. <laughs> but y'all put up with it. You put up with it so you can't say nothing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, some white women put up with stuff like that too. It is, y'all. It is, okay. But she's talking about the black woman today, okay, and the black men. She's not saying all. Let me say it again. She's not saying all black men do that. She say some of y'all. Black men, he's going to be intimidated by your success. If you're successful on a business, he's going to be pissed off. He's going to feel like this small. Even though you way up here making the money, he's going to feel this small. Well, I want to know, white people watching me, do you feel, especially white men, do you feel this small when your woman making way more money than you? Or are you happy and satisfied? <laughs> white men. They want a relationship. Not all of them, okay. 
But she's saying the majority of white men and the majority of the black men don't want a relationship. They don't. They don't want to be married. They don't want kids. Okay. Well, they may want kids, but they don't want to be with their kids. What race is the most unmarried? Is marriage for white people? How's the African-American marriage decline affects everyone? During the past half century, African-Americans have become the most, the most unmarried people in our nation. More than two out of every three black women are unmarried. And they got kids too, unmarried. And they are more than twice as likely as white women to never get married. Never. Do you hear me? Never. I've been married three times. And I had someone to ask me, girl, <laughs> how can you get three husbands when I can't even get one to marry me? Not even one. All my marriages ended in divorce. Yes, it did. For cheating. I'm not going to put up with that, okay? I'm not that type of woman. You can't be cheating on me and expect me to stay with you forever. I'm not like that. I have a backbone, okay? And I found out, too, therapy do not work. Not for everybody. Maybe for some people, but it didn't work in my marriage. It didn't. All right, moving right along here. <clears throat> the white man, he will raise his kids and spend quality time with them. Black men... They'll get you pregnant and abandon you and the kids. Leave you high and dry. Even if he say he love the kids, he's still going to leave you by yourself. And you got to hunt him down just to help you to pay for kids. Help you to, you know, pay for, for the kids and the things that they need. That's all I wanted from my ex-husband with my two daughters. That's all I wanted. I didn't want to put him on child support and I told him, just help me buy clothes. For the kids for school. Tennis shoes. Help me feed them. Give me money for food. Especially when they become older. They eat more. <sighs> what percentage of black mothers are unmarried? This was in 2011. It's worse now. In 2011, it was reported that 72% of black babies were born to unmarried mothers. As of 2015... 77.3%. Do you see how it's growing? Black Americans have the highest rate of non-marital births among Native Americans. In 2016, 29% of African Americans were married. Only 29%. While 48% of all Americans were. Americans. They didn't say black Americans. They said Americans. <laughs> Only 29% of African Americans, okay? That's, those are bad numbers. It's getting worse now, y'all, because these young people, they don't believe in getting married. They don't. Don't get mad at this lady right here. Now, she's right about a lot of things. She's right. I know this video is becoming just a little bit too long, but you need to hear it. You need to listen, okay? You need to be patient. That's why some of y'all be effing up in your life because you're impatient. You don't listen what people have to tell you. I'm going to play this guy. Makes him mad. He's mad and upset about what she said. I can't blame him because, like I said, you know, it is bad. But he's going to admit some things. Listen, listen. I'm not even going to lie to you. This video hurts my heart. Hurts my heart. I don't give a fuck if it's true. It hurts my heart. We should be we should be empowering our black men. Um but anyway, the video says the difference between some black men versus white men. And I can say, yeah, maybe some of that shit is true with some black men. I don't have a problem with white men, but some of that shit is true with white men. Right? I'm all of you. <laughs> Some of that shit is true for white men. Now, if I made a video doing that and comparing the difference between 
<laughs> some black women and white women <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you already know what the issues finna be right but see at least for me I don't do that because it's not whatever whatever she's talking about that ain't fully true every race do that shit every race does whatever whatever the fuck she's talking about every race do that shit so I don't I just don't think I mean you're entitled to your opinion I just kind of think that it's like damn like and then I'm just like are you like there's just there's plenty of men that take care of their kids uh, you know what I'm saying Call you in the morning And I know you said some But it should say What some black men do versus, Or some black men versus some white men Because white men do the same shit too Asian men, some of them do that You know what I'm saying My, my Filipinos, my Uses My Mexicans, all that Everybody do that shit But that's cool though I just hope that you men see this and instead of complaining, because I'm not complaining, I'm just kind of pointing out. Instead of complaining, bro, that's what she's saying. Let's just do better, bro. Let's just do better. Let's just prove her wrong. We ain't got to prove her wrong. Prove whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, we trying to show that we want to be with them. Let's just prove them wrong and just be better as men and not do whatever the fuck she talking about. Because I don't want to be put in that category. That ain't me. I know it's some. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm some black man, so... You know what I'm saying? Let's just do better, fellas. Fuck what the fuck she's talking about. Even if it's true, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do better, fellas, because that video hurt my heart, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. <clears throat> Let's just do better, dudes. That video hurt my heart about what she said. It hurt me so bad. It hurt them because it's true, y'all. Okay. Yes, he's right. It's not all men. He said, I don't care if it's true. He said, this video hurts my heart. It hurts my soul. I don't even have a problem with white men. But some, that is the true with white men. But it's true with white men. That's what he's trying to say. White men do the same thing too. If I made a video about some black women and white women, y'all be pissed off. Y'all will be pissed off because some white women are better than you black women. A lot of them are better than you black women because the white women cater to the black man and the black woman is hard-headed. Oh yeah, that's what they think, y'all. That's what they think. You can't have a mind of your own, though. You can't have a mind. You can't think for yourself. You're going to have to bow down. And they said the Asian women and the white women, y'all bow down to the black man. You bow down. Well, I beg to differ on that because I know some mixed couples. <laughs> and the white woman ain't bowing down, all right? But every race does it, he says. So you just can't say that the black man is doing that to his woman. Every race does it. But see, people misunderstand, y'all. Listen to me closely before I close. People misunderstand. They're saying, the woman is saying, yes, I know that there's some black man. She's not saying all black men yes it happens with white women to white men they do the same thing as black men to their women but what they're saying is that y'all not understand that it mostly happens with the black man this is what the black man does to his black woman his black so-called queen that he's calling her a queen the percentage is higher Right? I showed you the marriage. They're not marrying 
like they do with Asian people, Spanish people, white people. Black men don't want to get married. They don't want the responsibility. And then you got to ask yourself, why? Is it because of the black woman messed it up? She got all them kids depending on Uncle Sam, depending on the federal government, just laying up, gapping her legs to anybody. Well, I want to say this to you, black man. You sticking your dangling up in there, reproducing, okay? You helping her out. Then you leaving your baby. If you don't want nobody to talk about you, do right. Take care of your kids. Even if you ain't with the woman, take care of the kids. And stop having babies. This go for the woman too. Any race woman. Stop having babies by people you don't even love and people you barely even know. Why do y'all do that? Why? Keep your damn legs closed. We sick of y'all with all these damn babies. And then you expect the taxpayers to take care of them. That goes for any race, like I said. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes, there's bad in every race. Yes. But black people, y'all percentage is mighty high. Basically, that's what she's saying. I know y'all don't think so, but it's true. Put it on down there in the comment section and let me know how y'all feel about it. And like I said, don't be attacking me, okay? Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat a damn thing just to make you happy. I'm not gonna do it. And with all that being said, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And watch the next video coming up. Thank you. Yeah.